learning how to tell the position that your babies and different things work particularly well for different people, know that it really is hardest to feel it on yourself. So even for us as midwives where we spend all day every day feeling bellies and checking babies, checking babies' positions, it's tricky to feel it on yourself. And one of the reasons for that is that as soon as you push down, you're engaging your ab muscles, which makes it feel more firm. So if you really try to focus on pushing from your wrists rather than pushing from your shoulders or your biceps, that can help you to keep your abs nice and soft. You focus on kind of breathing out and making sure that your stomach is all the way loose and relaxed so that you're, you're feeling actually the baby's anatomy rather than just feeling your tight muscles. Um, so for me, what makes the most sense for me in my own pregnancies is, okay, if the baby, usually the baby is kicking on one side or the other, and in the third trimester you know which rib they're on, and a lot of times they have their favorite rib that you're like, this rib would just be fine <laughs> taking a turn, we'd love a break over here, but they usually kind of stay on one side. That almost always means if the foot's over there, then the butt is here and the back is over here. If there's something that high down here, the hands can be in different positions or the hand might be over here, but you're feeling an elbow push out over here. But up in the ribs, that's pretty much a foot which is attached to a butt, um, which means the back is going down the other way. They can have their feet behind them. It's a little bit more rare. Um, but so if you know where the foot is first by feeling what's kicking up high, then the next thing you do is you feel for kind of the round bump in the middle. That's their butt. It'll usually feel about the size of an orange or about the size of a grapefruit, depending on how pregnant you are. Um, and it'll just be kind of this round bump that's usually right in the middle or kind of just barely off to the opposite side. That can be a little subtle, but um, that can be one of the next landmarks that you feel for. For me, what's most helpful in my pregnancies, and even when I'm feeling bellies um, during prenatal care, is um, to feel down both sides of the stomach. So when a baby is, um, that baby's back is over here, this side of the belly will feel firm all the way down. There's no gaps where it suddenly gets soft. On this side of the belly, you might be feeling a little knob up here, but you'll feel kind of this soft part in the middle where there's just more amniotic fluid there, there's not so much anatomy there. Um, and so by feeling which side is firm all the way down. Now, if you're having a Braxton Hicks contraction, both sides will feel super firm. It'll feel super firm all the way around. So you need to wait for that to pass before you're gonna be able to feel. And we have to do the same thing in prenatal care. You cannot feel the baby's position if the uterus is contracting. So the uterus is most likely to contract when your baby has just kicked or when you've just had a big movement. You know, you, you've noticed you're more likely to get them if you're like hauling yourself out of bed or changing positions, you're more likely to have your uterus contract. So. If it's tight all over and you're feeling that tightening feeling in your stomach, wait for it to pass and then try again. Um, and then when you're feeling down low, it can be helpful to kind of put hands on either side and just wobble back and forth. You kind of know where the head is generally. Yes, it's possible for the baby to be sideways or for them to even be kind of diagonal. This is called oblique Y. Um, there's different ways that they can be. Um, but most often, their head is central. Um, and if not, you kind of feel one little orange or grapefruit size roundness here, and there's another round grapefruit roundness. Isn't here. their head a little harder too? Sometimes. Yeah, really that's very subtle. It's really hard to tell through the muscle of the uterus okay. because there's so much. You're feeling more muscle than you're feeling actually the anatomy of the baby. Okay. So, when the baby is in my own belly, what's helpful for me if I'm wondering where are the legs or is the baby head down, I'll find that round part up top, and I'll push on their butt because a butt has legs attached to it. So you'll feel the feet mm -hmm. come out to the side. A head doesn't have anything attached to it, so if a baby's breech and you're just gently moving it like this, you won't feel movement on either side. Okay. Um, so that's another trick that I use a lot in prenatal care is, that, is there anything attached to this? <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, and it'll, it'll move in the same motion as you nudging the baby. So. Really, kicks is, is the first, is, I feel like that's the first way to kind of get oriented. Where am I feeling the kicks? And then which side of the belly feels firm? Now, if they're forward, you would be feeling it more firm up here. If they're posterior, you're really not feeling a firmness on either side. It's pretty soft on both sides, and you're using your kicks of like, yeah, I'm feeling a lot of movement right central right here. Or if they're just a little bit face up, kind of diagonally, it's kind of the same thing. You're feeling a lot of movement here, and there's not a lot of firm back to be felt. So when they're kind of face up, it just means it's, a, it's really soft, or you feel all the way back on your belly, and you're like, oh yeah, there it is, hard, firm surface all the way on the one side.